Well, howdy, folks. How y'all is? Today, I'm going to show you a cheap meal. I usually eat one meal a day. Uh, I usually don't eat all day, and I eat a bunch at night. So tonight, we're having breakfast for dinner. Very cheap. I'm going to show you an easy way to feed your family for an inexpensive price in these trying times. Join me. Ciao, y'all. Hey, man. Give it up for the insane chef right here. So tonight's dinner is a far cry from filet mignon, but it's a heck of a lot cheaper. Look at that. Three dollar and forty-eight cent. Ham steak. So we're gonna grill up a ham steak. We're gonna make some grand's biscuits for a dollar. I think it's a dollar twenty-five. We're making up some of these hash browns here, and this hash brown is from uh, U.S. Foods, when I went over to the U.S. Food Store. But you can buy a similar product uh, by Hungry Jack. I've done a review on them. It's a dehydrated potato. You add some water, let it set for about an hour, and it rehydrates, and you grill them off. I'll pan fry them. So over the charcoal there, we threw this ham steak. We're going to close the lid down here and let it get a little color on it. Throw it off the coals and uh, make the rest of our meal. So we just made our first flip there on the ham steaks, looking pretty delicious. For these hash browns, you follow the directions there and take off the uh, excess water, drain it off. I like to do here, I like to use bacon grease, but I'm not cooking bacon tonight. So we're gonna use a little canola oil or corn oil. I like to cut that with a little bit of butter. There you go, I got a couple tablespoons of corn oil and about a tablespoon of butter going here. It takes a little more grease than what you might think to do these hash browns. You see how it's starting to turn a little brown? That's why you can't use straight butter, it'll burn on you. Okay, so there we go. Now we're going to add our hash browns in there. What you want is them evenly distributed across the, across the skillet. The key is... Don't touch them for about two or three minutes. Keep your heat on like a number seven. They'll come out just right for you. I'll show you when we flip them here. We're gonna go about two or three minutes here and I'll show you when it's time to flip. So what your indicator here is when these on the edge start to brown some, they're still white right now. When they start to brown a little, that's when you flip them. So it's been about three minutes. We're starting to see some browning going on right here in the middle and right here on the edges. So we're about ready. What I'm going to do here is just kind of take a peek. And we need a little longer. We're going to let it go a little longer. Okay, so I think we're about ready here. Let's see what we got going on under here. You take these, put them right, directly over. See? We got a nice, beautiful hash brown. It's hard to hold the camera and do this, so I'm going to. Set the camera down, but you flip each little section where it all comes up even. So there we go. Just about being patient, not flipping too soon. I'm not getting your fire too high. Have enough grease in there to let it cook properly. So I just cut the fire off there. Our biscuits came out of the oven, put a little butter on top. Now we're going to cook up a few eggs. We're ready for dinner. Ooh wee, look at that, look at that. It's gonna be a nice little dinner breakfast. Some eggs with some Tabasco, over easy, ham steak, hash browns, and a biscuit. So today I'm changing out all the old exhaust fans here. Here's the old one. You can see how dirty and nasty those things get over the course of several years. Man, here's the brand new one I just installed. Just put these wire hook hangers in there. Little slots to give you. Just hold it in there. Be back in business. So one of the things I'm working on today is getting these registers taken down. They get ground me over 13 years and a little rusty and things, so show what I'm doing. So I'm taking all these down here and uh, scrubbed them good here with some Oxy Orange, degreaser, 
And then I'm gonna take them outside. I'm gonna sit in the sun, dry out good. These over here have been washed good, but you can see the rust spots and all. Um, I'm gonna spray them with a fresh coat of spray paint, flat white spray paint so they look new again. And that way you ain't gotta spend all the money on actually buying a bunch of new registers to have new looking registers. So I may have painting these, and you can see the difference. That's the before. That's one I haven't done yet. That's the one I just did. Looking like new again. That saves a whole lot of money than going and buying new ones. So if you have a chance to look at your registers, it's probably gonna look something like that if you live somewhere for a long time. Even if you ain't moving, it's something you could do to make your house look fresh and it's good to clean every now and then. So there we go, looking like new. So there we are, all painted up, looking new. Let's stick it up in here. So this trim work here by the garage kind of knocked around over the years. So I'm going to go ahead and reattach this good and then seal it up with this nail gun here. I'm out here tearing down uh, the garage. Uh, all kinds of cool stuff on this here wall. Taking it all down. Pretty cool. I guess we played uh, Galaxy Club on whatever day this was. Damn posters and things. The old Elko. And here's the front here. Took that picture with a really shitty megapixel camera. I think this is from 06 maybe. Well, the chef's been working on the house the last couple of days non-stop. Getting this place ready to go, so I think I need a night off from cooking, so I ordered one of the Best pizzas around. They got some spaghetti here, meat sauce, pizza. Got a uh, Caesar salad. These rolls are really good too, garlic knots. And uh, some dressing here. So we'll start off with some Caesar salad and a couple of slices of pizza and see if we're still hungry. I might get in some spaghetti. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.